What's going on YouTube? Next video of the ACF Fields playlist here. And uh, in this video, we're gonna go over the ACF tabs. And this is a field from um, ACF that basically allows you to uh, organize your backend. Um, so it can, uh, you basically can create tabs within your fields um, that'll allow you to separate content out based on how the page looks and almost give you that kind of customizable feel uh, to your, your backend and, and your editable content. So uh, let's just go ahead here and uh, make a tab. So as you can see, we kind of have this like homepage header text. We have all this stuff that's uh, according to the homepage. So if we wanted to, um, within this homepage, we could uh, then say like uh, there's a header section um, to this home page and the tab uh, field will actually only take a field label. It doesn't take a slug because you don't have to call it on the front end. Um, all, you, all it does is it just uh, organizes your uh, content and you'll see that in a second. So we're just going to say for now it's going to be top aligned. You can choose left aligned which will basically make it display like these guys are displayed here, field label, field type. Uh, but we're going to go top aligned for now and uh, in a little bit I'll show you what endpoint is and then you can do some conditional logic if there are other fields that uh, require true. Um, so we'll just say header section and when you put it above something that means everything beneath it is going to be in that tab so we're going to put header section here and then we're going to create another one and we're going to call it youtube let's see let me grab it here uh tab awesome top aligned is fine um, we're going to make a tab called youtube and we're going to put it right above the youtube embed so now this means that anything underneath the header section is all of these are going to be underneath the header section tab and then until there's another tab uh, all that all of that's going to be under the first tab and then anything once it hits another tab anything under that will be under that tab so we're going to say update and if we come back over to the home page you'll see that now we've got tabs we've got a header section tab and we have a YouTube tag and, and this is where that content is going to show up all right so that's how you do tabs uh, just very basic tabs. You can see you have like a header section, content section, you know, content left side, content right side, depending on um, what your design looks like. You can kind of mimic uh, the kind of box layout that you have going on. Um, so next, let's go back to our fields here and let's look at how we can make these tabs you know, jump off into different different lines. Say we didn't want YouTube and we didn't want header to be right next to each other. Uh, under the YouTube tab, we can say uh, we can say mark it as an endpoint, which means use this field as an endpoint to start a new group of tabs. So this means that this YouTube tab is going to be below the uh, the header tag. So if we stay that there, we come back to the home page. We'll see that we have a header section here. And then our YouTube is actually down here. So it creates a new section of tabs. Um, so then you might be thinking, okay, well then what if I want tabs within the header section? So then I want to do you know, something like this. Let's say we've got, you know, we've got a header section and then we have you know, some images underneath the header section. They're gonna be a tab. And then we can say we want to put that here and put it on the left side. Let's see. Right there. All right.
All right, so now we can say something like, if we wanted to do uh, a left align tab, and you can see the kind of different layout that it'll create here, we can make that left align, and then we can make this left align. And uh, if we say that it's not an endpoint, then they'll just be combined again. And go back to images and make this left line. It's not an endpoint. And then you can see that if we go to pages and home page, you can see that all these sections are now tabbed on the left hand side rather than the top. And we can click through this. So you can get a header section, you know, maybe an images section, a YouTube thing. Uh, and you can kind of organize your content that way. Um, so that's something that ACF allows you to do, which um, is awesome in terms of creating uh, new tabs. So now that we've got those three tabs on the left-hand side, we'll, uh, if you want to be able to add more tabs um, that then aren't really connected to that left-hand side tab group, uh, all you have to do is just, you know, we'll make another tab here. And again, the tab does not have a field uh, name, um, it just has a label. And then we can say top the line and we're going to say endpoint yes. And once that's a yes, then when you come over to your home page, excuse me, home page, you'll see that there's another tab here and any, con any other fields you put underneath that tab are going to show up underneath, uh, underneath this guy. So if we go to images, this tab is still down here at the bottom. Um, so if you have something that then is affected um, or is required on every single tab, you can keep it under here and uh, it won't be a part of this tab group, but it'll create another tab group. And if I were to then come back to my settings and uh, add another field in here, uh, and then we wanted to add another tab, Another field, you'll be able to see that these tabs will then line up according to what I've set them up as. There's another tab, another field, and you would still reference these tabs on your homepage template or reference the fields on the homepage template. All this does is just organize your 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 WordPress backend, uh, so you can have you know a much organized, much more organized uh, 